guys, what's going on? Uh, I got a couple of sheets here that I've created to help you guys build out them, uh, them base dome maps in Holly EFI. Um, I got this idea after reading Holly's boost control article. Um, you know, this is essentially kind of how they recommend to do it. I just simplified the heck out of it. Um, you know, and this turned out really well. It's a super beneficial tool that I think uh, a lot of people can use. Um, you know, I have um, two sheets that I've created. The one we're going over in this video is a more basic sheet. Um, it's going to plot a linear trend, which might give you some inaccurate readings at higher boost levels. Um, but it's definitely going to give you, get you in the ballpark. Um, it's going to get you really close. Um, <clears throat> we'll go over this sheet here. And then um, if you're interested in the more advanced sheet, just go ahead and uh, click the link in the description and that'll uh, jump you over to that video and uh, that, uh, that sheet will be attached in that description uh, in, a, in a, like a Google Doc. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll jump right into it here and uh, show you how it works. Thanks. Guys. Hey guys, so this is what the sheet's gonna look like when you first open it up. It's gonna be pretty blank. Uh, first thing you're gonna wanna do is run through across the top and then put your RPM range. Uh, you can copy and paste that direct from Holly EFI. Uh, next, you want to run through and input all your boost points that you have from Holly EFI. Um, all these points will automatically update the rest of the table. As you can see here, if, you know if we go uh, say 1800, 2250, 3000. That's automatically going to update up here, and that that as well is going to update over here um, once you got that all settled out um, then you'll be ready to start making some runs um, we're not worried about what you guys are making on the spring here uh, if you've got a five pound spring in there you're making five pounds of boost um, that we know where we're going to want to start inputting information is when we start adding dome pressure to the gate so let's say we start with adding two pounds of dome uh, we put two pounds of dome in it we made a run went through our data log got seven pounds of boost Oop, not 78 seven seven pounds of boost uh, and as you can see you know let's say we drop to six here as you can see um, this is going to start populating this table here now we're going to need to make at least three runs to uh, to get some some accurate information in here I'm going to jump over to my other table here that I already got filled out as you can see in this table, you know, I got uh, four runs in here. Um, and that's going to give me a pretty accurate table down here. Um, if we go ahead and copy and paste this over into our sheet we're working on. There you can see that's, you know, based the same sheet as I, I just had. Um, you know, and that's going to update all these numbers. You know, and that's really about it, guys. I mean, this is just going to help you just build out this table. Um, and then uh, once you're done here, once you have this table built out, you can just jump over to this Boost First Dome map. And there it is, color-coded, set up just like it is in Holly EFI. And at that point, you can just go ahead and copy and paste this whole table right over into your uh, base dome map. Uh, just thought this would really simplify things. Uh, this is going to get you in the general ballpark. You know, like I said, I have that more advanced sheet. Um, go ahead and click the link in the description if you're interested in that one. Um, that's going to be uh, a lot, a lot more uh, accurate, especially into the higher boost levels. You know, say we want to uh, change this down here. Say we want to go to 25 pounds of boost. You know, as you can see, that that updated that whole row down here. As well as it did over here um, this is going to be close but the more advanced sheet it's going to be dead on so uh, go ahead and check that out guys if you're interested i hope this helped you um, do me a favor like comment subscribe you know i got uh probably about 20 hours plus into building these sheets out and uh you know they weren't simple so if you show me a little support i'd really appreciate it thanks guys